today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform that allows you to do everything you need for your business all in one place. since I've actually talked to you. Today I'm going to be filming like a draw with me. Um, I'm just gonna be sketching in my sketchbook. I have no plans, um, no ideas at all. So I might be a little slow. This is the sketchbook. I started a new one. Um, I just finished the B paper marker sketchbook that I've been working in. Um, and I'll probably be doing a sketchbook tour very soon um but yeah in the meantime i started this giant moleskine sketchbook um i think it's like 11 by 14. this is the back i'm not ready to go over everybody who made the stickers yet um just because i'm not finished putting stickers on when I'm done with the sketchbook, I will probably post about who the stickers are by. But yeah, it's huge. Uh, I already started it. I'm like two pages in and it's watercolor paper. And I'm very excited because I just spent the last year working in a marker sketchbook and I couldn't use any watercolor or mixed media type things for a whole year. I mean, I did it in other pages, but like I felt very limited in a marker sketchbook. So super excited to be doing a mixed media watercolor type sketchbook again. And very excited also to be working in something huge again. Uh, I haven't done this since college probably. Usually I work in like nine by 12 or eight and a half by 11 sketchbooks. So um, this one's fun. It's very hard to go to cafes with because some of the tables are smaller than uh, when it's open, so I'll have to like lean in on my lap to draw sometimes. Uh, it's a little obnoxious, but it's fun. It's fine. <laughs> hopefully you enjoy, and hopefully it doesn't get too dark while I'm filming. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Okay. Here's the next problem. We have to pick an audio for it, and this sometimes takes me 30 minutes, and I don't really know what to say about that. I usually pick from this artist who plays like bass little ditty covers and just go with it, because but I have this thing where I can't remember the name. Um, and they post these like bass little guitar things that are just real nice. And I feel like they're the vibe of my stuff. It's like calm with like a little bit of a, a little bit of that like happy thing. Should I use that one? This one's called the Bug Collector. I absolutely adore that. All right. Um, so today, yeah, I have this small skin sketchbook this bag of stuff. This is what you usually take with me in my bag to cafes. It has um, a lot of, a little bit of watercolors, uh, some grayish markers that I like to use for shading in my sketchbook. Um, a couple of Copic markers, lots of ballpoint pens, my favorite thing to sketch with, lots of uh, Pentel brush and aquash pens and a couple of prismacolor varathin pencils what 
what else? Yeah, just random stuff. Uh, I think I have like a gold paint that I bring with me. Some washi tape. White pens. So, I need to write the date already because I already started this. Um, this is the first page I worked on. I kind of cheated and started this before I finished my last sketchbook. I was just so excited. Um, this is the first thing I did, which I love. I'm very happy with it, but also put a lot of pressure on me to make it all pretty. And I'm trying to undo that, so just doodling, writing stuff on the side. Um, yeah, I was testing out those new gray markers that I just got. And, um, yeah. And then I started this page. I'll probably keep working on this page today. I also discovered recently that... So, you guys all know that I love drawing in ballpoint pens. Um, I usually use the Pentel RSVP because the big round stick grip ones are fully discontinued. I cannot find any more. Um, this is the crappier version of the old ones that I liked. Um, not as good. Uh, you've probably gotten these for free anywhere. Um, they're not horrible. Uh, I just really miss the old ones. Um, the old ones looked like this, actually. I'm sure if you've uh, followed me for a while, you've seen these before and I've talked about them before. I have like two left and I'm trying to save them. So, yeah. But, um... So I either usually draw in bell point pen or uh, this colored pencil, which is Prismacolor Verithin in uh, crimson red. This is for like base uh, watercolor paintings and stuff. But I realized that Bic also has red pens. And I usually don't even erase my pencil when I paint over it anyway. So I thought I would try using the ballpoint pens. So, I bought two packs. And I've been trying it in this sketchbook here. And I love it so far. Hmm. I want to draw like a full body person right here. Maybe uh, some outfit inspo or something. Let me look up some inspiration real quick.
So today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform that allows you to do everything you need with your website and your business all in one place. It's great for small business owners and anyone who needs to have an online presence or like a central hub for their social media. I've been using Squarespace for years and I love how easy to use it is. All of the templates are beautiful and it's so easy to just plug in all of my information and my photos and it looks great right away. One thing I created on my website recently is a link page uh, similar to the ones that everybody puts in their bio on Instagram. Just a web page that links to all of your social media and any current links or pages that you're talking about currently on your Instagram. Uh, I made one of those pages and I just linked to it from my Instagram and it's convenient because it's already part of my website and I can just link to my store and Twitter and whatever else. And like I just mentioned, I have my online shop right there within my website. That's the most convenient thing about having a Squarespace website with my business is that somebody can be looking at my portfolio and my info and then decide to purchase something and just hop on over to my store page on my own website instead of me having to link to a whole nother website. So Squarespace has a free trial if you want to try it out. If you like it, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline and get 10% off your first purchase. I will have more links and information in the description below. Hi again. Um, so I think I just drew for like 20 minutes or so. Um, I only did one drawing, as you know, since you watched it. Um, and this is what it looks like. Um, everything takes so much longer because it's so much bigger in a sketchbook and um, I had fun trying out these markers a little bit more so um, the ones I was using were let's see I'll talk about all of them so again the big round stick um, red pen uh, I inked with the Pentel brush pen super loose um, and sketchy normally I would do something cleaner but it's fun um, Pentel aquash pen for the darkest shading I love this is my favorite tool ever I love this brush pen because it's like almost black it's like a watery black and it leaves granulation a little bit um, and it's fun for shading black without losing your lines, um, especially in sketchbook type stuff. Um, and then I used these new um, Faber-Castell watercolor markers. Hopefully that's not backwards for you. Um, the shade I used the most was Warm Gray 3. I think, or 272, um, which is like one of the lightest ones I could find. Um, yeah, I like the warmer grays for shading more than the cool grays. They throw me off a lot. Um, I do have, it's like one of this brand, Koi Coloring Brush Pen. Um, one of them I have is a cool gray. And I'll show you here. Um, for this drawing, I did a warm gray for her hair and then tried to outline in a darker gray and it was a cool gray. Um, doesn't go well. And I didn't really check what I was using, so yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, um, I hope you guys had fun watching this. Thank you for watching and um, I hope I can do more of these and more talking to you guys because I haven't been doing that for a while. Uh, thank you again and I will see you in the next video. Bye!